Have you ever watched a movie that left you questioning the boundaries of reality and media influence? The 1976 film Network directed by Sidney Lumet does just that. This iconic movie delves into the power and manipulation of television, exploring the impact of sensationalism on society. It raises important questions about the blurred lines between news and entertainment, and how our obsession with media can shape our perceptions of the world. Now, we'd like to hear from you. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Whether it made you reflect on the state of the media or left you with a lasting impression, we're eager to hear your experiences. And what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's dive into some intriguing facts about this thought-provoking film that has left an indelible mark on viewers for decades. Network provides a gripping exploration of media manipulation, portraying a world where the boundaries between news and entertainment become increasingly blurry. It's a timeless piece that continues to resonate in our media-saturated society. Network, the 1976 film, made quite a splash at the Oscars. It earned nominations in all the major categories, including Best Picture, Director, Actor, Actress, Supporting Actor, Supporting Actress, and Screenplay. The film secured wins for Best Screenplay and all the acting categories, except for Best Supporting Actor. This accolade-laden film is known for its strong performances and impactful storytelling. Sidney Lumet, the director of Network, started rehearsals in early 1976 in New York City. The film was primarily shot in New York City, staying true to Lumet's style. However, the control room and news studio scenes were filmed at CFTO TV Studios in Toronto, Ontario. Lumet had a specific vision for the film's visual scheme. He used available light and minimal camera movement in the early parts, giving it a documentary-like feel. As the story progressed, he added more light and movement, creating bright and slick final sequences. This unique approach to visual storytelling, combined with the remarkable performances, contributed to Network's success and its enduring impact on cinema. Faye Dunaway praised the 1976 movie Network as a rare project where the script remained untouched. She described it as if it were written in verse, a testament to its exceptional quality. Her satisfaction extended to director Sidney Lumet, whom she regarded as one of the most talented and professional individuals in the industry. Lumet's meticulous approach, from pre-shooting rehearsals to on-set efficiency, contributed to the film's success. This insight sheds light on the exceptional synergy between the script and direction that made Network a standout film of its time. In 1976, the movie Network made waves in the film industry. Directed by Sidney Lumet and written by Patty Chievsky, it was a thought-provoking production that generated significant attention. One striking fact about this film is that, as of 2021, it remains the last movie to receive five Academy Award nominations in the acting categories. This recognition underscores the exceptional performances delivered by the cast. Network portrayed a world where news and entertainment were intertwined raising questions about the media's influence and the blurring of reality and fiction. Contrary to what one might expect, Lumet and Chievsky claimed that the film was not intended as a satire, but as a reflection of the unsettling realities of the time. This adds depth to the film's impact, as it serves as a commentary on the media landscape of the era. One of the film's characters, Laureen Hobbs, was loosely modeled after Angela Davis, a prominent communist activist. This character's portrayal brings a socio-political dimension to the film, shedding light on the complex issues of the time. Network remains a timeless exploration of media, power, and the consequences of blurring the lines between reality and entertainment. It's a must-watch for those interested in thought-provoking cinema. In Sean Considine's biography of Patty Chievsky, it is revealed that Glenn Ford and William Holden were the finalists for the role of Max Schumacher. Holden's recent success in The Towering Inferno was believed to have been the deciding factor in his casting. This pivotal casting decision played a crucial role in shaping the 1976 movie Network, a film that would go on to become a classic in the annals of American cinema. Network, directed by Sidney Lumet, is a thought-provoking exploration of the media industry's dark underbelly. 
It follows the story of Max Shoemaker, a veteran television executive who experiences a professional and personal crisis. The film's biting critique of the media's sensationalism and obsession with profit at the expense of truth struck a chord with audiences in the 1970s and remains relevant to this day. The decision to cast William Holden as Max Shoemaker was not without controversy. Other Hollywood heavyweights, like Glenn Ford, were in contention for the role. However, it was Holden's recent success in The Towering Inferno that tipped the scales in his favor. This casting choice proved pivotal as Holden's nuanced performance added depth to the character, making the audience sympathize with Max's predicament. Network garnered widespread critical acclaim and went on to receive 10 Academy Award nominations. However, despite its excellence, the film lost the Best Picture category to Rocky, a decision that left director Sidney Lumet openly furious. This Oscar upset is an interesting footnote in the movie's history, highlighting the competitive nature of the film industry during that era. Lumet's desire to cast Robert Duvall, known for his roles in westerns and war movies, added a unique dimension to Network. Duvall's portrayal of Frank Hackett, an ambitious and ruthless network executive, contributed to the film's scathing critique of the television industry. The clash between Duvall's screen image and his character's role in Network provided a powerful commentary on the real-world executives shaping television content, many of whom hailed from America's heartland. In conclusion, the 1976 movie Network is a powerful exploration of media, morality, and corporate influence. The casting of William Holden, the Oscars upset, and Robert Duvall's role all played essential roles in the film's impact and legacy. The movie continues to resonate with audiences, serving as a cautionary tale about the media landscape, even decades after its release. The movie Network, released in 1976, is known for its compelling narrative and intriguing behind-the-scenes stories. Sidney Lumet, the film's director, wanted to cast Vanessa Redgrave, whom he regarded as one of the greatest English-speaking actresses. However, Patty Chievsky, the film's screenwriter, had reservations due to Redgrave's support of the PLO, a Palestinian organization. Despite Lumet's objections, Chievsky prevailed in the casting decision. This controversial casting dispute adds an interesting layer to the movie's history, reflecting the complexities of the entertainment industry. The film, despite its controversial casting decisions, went on to sweep the Oscars the following year. Network is also notable for being the final feature film of Peter Finch, whose last screen appearance was in Raid on Entebbe in 1976. Finch's performance in the movie earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Actor. In addition to these interesting tidbits, Network has received critical acclaim over the years. In 2007, the American Film Institute ranked it as the 64 greatest movie of all time, cementing its place in cinematic history. These facts provide a glimpse into the making and impact of the movie Network, making it a compelling piece of film history. It's a film that not only entertained but also stirred controversies and discussions within the industry. As we bring this cinematic journey to a close, I invite you to ponder the profound impact of the 1976 classic, Network. This film has transcended generations, resonating with audiences through its compelling narrative, unforgettable characters, and timeless exploration of the media's influence on our lives. Consider the unforgettable performances of Peter Finch, Faye Dunaway, and William Holden, who breathed life into this thought-provoking tale. Reflect on Howard Beale's iconic cry, urging us to question the world around us, as it remains as relevant today as it was in 1976. Have you ever found yourself swept up in the whirlwind of sensational news, just like the characters in the film? Or perhaps you've been inspired by the power of one person's voice, even amidst the chaos of a modern world. Network invites us to confront these questions, to examine our relationship with the media, and to explore the consequences of our own complacency. Now, it's your turn to share. What memories, thoughts, or personal connections do you hold with Network? We'd love to hear your reflections and stories in the comments below. How has this film left its mark on your life, and what does it mean to you? Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration, and for your time and interest. Your unique perspective enriches the ongoing conversation about this cinematic gem. So, share your thoughts and keep the dialogue alive as we continue to be inspired by the timeless wisdom of Network. Until next time, keep the conversation going.
And remember, the story never truly ends. It's all part of the narrative tapestry that connects us all. Your voice matters just as much as Howard Beals did. Stay engaged and stay inspired.